And Einstein is just livid. <laughs> okay? He's like, I can't believe you showed my paper yeah. to someone without my consent. Yeah. yeah. Um, given this, I'm just going to publish somewhere else. He retracts his paper. So 1915, okay. Einstein publishes his general relativity, yes. which is a new way of thinking about gravitation as um, a disturbance in the actual fabric of space and time. When if space time is this sort of elastic thing, then I should be able to create waves. Einstein's already at Princeton. Mm -hmm. Woo -woo. And he does the math. What he notices are these things called singularities, which he can't quite get rid of. And so he writes a paper saying that the field equations do not admit admit wave solutions, okay? He sends it over to the physical review, okay? The editor was John Tate. Um, John Tate sends it over to his buddy um, H.P. Robertson, who's also in the Princeton physics department. So, you know, Einstein sends it to John Tate. John Tate sends it back, <laughs> back to, to Princeton. Princeton. And Robertson finds an error. He finds that the singularities that Einstein is so worried about are actually just coordinate singularities. They're not actually real physical singularities. Mm. Like, you know, trying to find the longitude of the North Pole, something like that. It's, at the end of the day, it's a choice that we've made as humans on where to put the zero of our coordinate system, yes. right? It, so Robertson writes back to Tate. Tate then pushes back on Einstein. And Einstein is just livid, <laughs> okay? He retracts his paper. The goat. He never publishes in Physical Review again. <laughs> and John Tate goes down as the guy who editorialized Einstein. He yeah. was like, I don't care if you're Einstein or yeah. God. Yeah. You're going to go through the same peer review. And hey, if Robertson, who's a great mathematical physicist in his own right, says something is wrong, maybe you need to pay attention, right? <laughs> Einstein gets word from his assistant elsewhere about Robertson, because Robertson is like, you know, you guys are having trouble with these singularities. Like, you know, there's one way that you can just like do this and then blah, blah, blah. And then your the math trick works out. And so Einstein, true to his physics side, <laughs> right? He sets aside his ego and he's like, okay, that was that was bad. <laughs> and, and he corrects his paper and he publishes it in, in um, a Philadelphia journal. You know, not the physical review. And it's a totally new paper. Okay. That admits that gravitational waves can, in fact, be allowed in the space-time it's so funny, right? Because it's like this guy, you should have just read the peer review, right? <laughs> Through all this. He chose violence. He chose violence and he even admitted to himself that he was wrong. But he never went back That's to the physical review. That's a level of petty I aspire That's a, to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. But that paper sort of established this idea that, okay, we can have gravitational waves. You can waves. have waves uh, in this system of space-time where space-time is this fabric 